Hi, my name is Kim Zazarin, and this is an interview. <laughs> and this is my interview after the performance. But yeah! All right. <laughs> I feel hazy. Why is everything black and white? I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, born and raised. It's a very lovely city, it's a beautiful place, um, very clean, fresh air good tasting water right on the tap. I know that might be new for you guys over here, in a way. You need to buy the bottled water. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a very nice place to grow up in, I think, and uh, it's a lot of uh, creativity. My family been in music. Uh, for quite some time, so it kind of came natural, I will say. Uh, playing violin and then upright bass and then just a touch of viola and then um, in, oh yeah, did I say piano too? Yeah, I play piano too. Um, and then in high school I focused on, on singing and then just a little, little bit of drumming in the last year of high school. But like I said, I, I played all of those instruments and then afterwards I, I just felt that I, I wanted to focus on, the, on just singing and writing and trying to work on that and become better and better. High school, I, then I was just I was listening to so, so many different genres. But if we go even further back, I, I mean, I played classical music in school. That was my own choice. But at home, we played everything else. We played jazz, uh, soul, neo soul, reggae, dance soul, soca, zouk, uh, calypso, um, all different kinds of music. Um, so growing up, yeah, I, I tended to lean more towards the soul, R&B uh, genres and, and artists. Uh, I mean, I grew up listening to D'Angelo. I listened to him since I was six years old uh, when my mom played the Brown Sugar album in the house, you know? And, <clears throat> and then I just kept on following him, the, the, the Voodoo album and all of that. Uh, a lot of well, James Brown, Prince, Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield, just, you know, all of that. And uh, when I got more into the teen years, Usher, all the Ushers, and that kind of vibe was more relevant for me. But I always just, just back and forth, I listen to so much different music, yeah. Whatever you call me. I think that's one of the songs that people really reacted to and like, because it was also the first song, the second song we did with the team that I'm currently also working with a lot. I, um, I'm very you know, picky with <laughs> who I work with and I, I feel real comfortable and I like the people that I work with now. Um, so we did one song at that first session <clears throat> and then we did Undressed a few days later. Um, and then I think a month later we had a set, uh, another session and then we did I Love This Life and X. Uh, that is two, so, uh, two more songs on, from the album. And when we did Undress, we looking back and listening back to the track, we thought that this is something vibey, it's a little bit new, it's something, it's a mix of just different things. I, I would say my music is, a, is, is just a fusion of my influences. And all in the team is me, uh, Anton Bergeson, Lucas, Ricky Pabdashnowski, and Gary Clark. Uh, we all come from different places, you know, and it feels like we just mashed them all together, so it's a little fusion of that. But, but then we kind of felt that Undress was the one we kind of wanted to lean towards more when we were making new music. If we got lost, we went back, oh yeah, all right, let's, let's go back again and, and, and keep on working. I like to switch it around. If I can, just change them up, because uh, I think it makes it more interesting and, and more fun for, for the audience also to hear. Um, I mean, it showcases a different part of me also, I would say. Because a lot of people can hear the, the, the original tracks and the, and the more poppy, urbanish tracks and, and, and don't get the soulful history that I'm you know, also raised on. Oh yeah, that's Theo, uh, Theo Kylin. Yeah, I've known him for eight years, nine years soon. Like my whole band basically just known each other for a long time since high school. Uh, my engineer too, he's a part of the band basically also because he handles all the, the front of house and the, how it sounds out and you know he knows the set, he knows me, he knows what I like, he knows the band so 
without him it wouldn't really be the same too. So that he's a part of the band. But Theo and I, we uh, where I am, Theo will be there basically. <laughs> uh, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And I told him a long time ago when we when we quit high school, I said I want you to play with me if I you know do you know music after school and you know all of that. You, would, would you like that? He's like yeah, that would be cool. And I kept that promise ever since. She pulled me in, she said, I love this life, but it only lasts a minute. It's just a vibe. We try to do music that everybody can just understand, make it accessible for everybody. Forever, forever. Hey, my name is Kim Cesarian, and you can hit the May for Last FM.